Welcome to part 10 in my Minecraft series. Now in the last video I raided a woodland mansion and I, I, I had my expectations too high for it. I went in there expecting to find like 25 diamonds in loot. Uh, I mean, that's what I said as I was digging this tunnel. I didn't find a single diamond. I found like a bit of gunpowder, a few golden apples. Now, I've not even posted that video yet. It's going up later today. So I haven't had the chance to read your comments about the Woodland Mansion raid. If I missed anything or if I was supposed to look in a secret place to find all the loot, then I haven't read the comments yet. So we'll get to that in the next video if there even is any secret loot that I accidentally missed out on. So today we're gonna be, we're gonna be moving house. This was just my temporary underground house that I built. So we're packing our bags and we're leaving. That's all the stuff I'm gonna take from my chest. I don't need anything else. It's time to go. Let's just run until we find a village. Although you guys have told me to that I should make my own house instead. So I think actually, yeah, I will build my own house today, but I still wanna do it around the village. There's the uh, woodland man that we raided. I think it's still on fire. I don't want to use this for my house because it's just a bit too big for my liking. Hold up, we need to turn the volume up. Jesus Christ, I almost got fucking killed. My volume was down because uh, I was playing Halo last night and people were sleeping. We almost got caught lacking. And you know what? I just remembered. I did the Woodland Mansion raid on the hard difficulty and I didn't change it back to normal difficulty. I need to find a village ASAP and build a house. No village in sight as of just yet. I really want to explore these caves that I'm coming across, but if I die, then I've lost everything. I could always build a house here, but the thing is, I don't want to build a house where no one is, you know, it's just depressing. We're stacking up the food supply on this journey for the new village. 23. Oh shit, it's dark. And we're on hard difficulty still. We're just gonna have to dig down, we've got no choice. Right, let's just do a couple things real quick. We'll sleep and turn it to daytime, but we'll also cook the raw food that I got. Did I just see a shadow? I can hear something. Someone's waiting for me on the surface. Almost done, we've almost got the food supply. Let's go to sleep. And then we'll go check out what's going on on the surface. Right, who's on top? Might have been that creeper. There's no one else here, so we'll just continue running. It's gotta be a village down here somewhere. There's no way we're going this long without finding one. Oh no, don't tell me it's an ocean. I don't wanna swim. I don't wanna swim. In fact, one of you guys suggested on an older video, I think it was the last one, that you can craft boats. Before we get in the water and start swimming, let's figure out how you make a boat. Oh, you only need, you only need wood. How fantastic, because I have wood on me. Oh, this is amazing. This is so much faster. If you're watching this episode, thank you for suggesting this idea. All right, looks like we've found life already. Now, this might just be one of those mountains in the water, so I'm just gonna swim around it just in case. We'll go up here, because it looks like the, the, there's a good chance of there being a village up here. <gasps> what is that? Is that a chest? That looks like a chest. No, that that's definitely a chest. Where is it? It's up there somewhere. Let's go see what that chest is all about. We're onto some serious loot, lads. Why is there a random chest in a mountain? Explain that to me. There's got to be diamonds in here. TN, okay. Music disc, potion of regeneration. I'll take it, I'll take it. Now we've got two potions. Heart of the sea. What is that? I don't know, but I'm taking it just in case. Music disc, I found a few of these in the Woodland Mansion, but I didn't pick them up because I don't know, where do you ever use a music disc? Let's just block ourselves in real quick and go to sleep. Free TNT is free TNT, so I'm not too, I'm not gonna complain about that. Where's the actual land at though? Like land where there's not water in between every single mountain. Oh my God, get the boat out, I ain't doing this. It looks like we've got a little bit of an area in here. No, I don't think it is, but I've got no other choice. But to get out here, this is getting really annoying because this isn't really land. It's always separated by ocean. Well, time to get the boat out once again. It's night time, but we're safe in the boat, I believe. We're going to sleep on this little bit of island here. We'll take the bed back. Oh, crap. I just ran past. <laughs> I'm crouching. Yeah, this ain't good. Let's go. Hopefully we can get out of the jungle. For some reason, the mobs aren't dying. I thought they burned when they were out in the daytime. Wow, this is the first time I'm seeing a bird in this game. Hopefully there's a village nearby. A village with wildlife? How wonderful. Oh, a blue one. I've ran through many forests in my career of Minecraft, but I've never came across birds. Why is the ground on fire? Any reason for that or- Oh, village! This is great because there's a bunch of flat land over here that I have to build my own house. Let's just see if these 
villagers have anything in their chest because I remember in the previous video, and actually it wasn't the previous video. I like how we found a cartographer in the next village that I found after finding a cartographer. It took me hours to find one of these and now I just find one in the next village. What are the chances of that? Well, at least there's a cartographer here if I want to go to another woodland mansion. In the searching for a cartographer video, I found a villager that had diamonds in his chest. And you can imagine how I reacted to that. The house did look like one of these ones. Eh, there doesn't seem to be anything of value in the houses, so I think I'll just go build my house. Oh, wonderful. We can build the house and then we've got a cave to explore. What should I build my house out of? I think I'll do it with wood because I've got wood on me and that's what the villages are, houses are made out of. So let's just lay the bed down real quick so we can sleep when we need to. All my stuff's in a chest, so I've finally got some free space. We're out of wood. Great. Well, luckily for me, there's a lot of trees nearby, so I can just go make a lot of it easily. Now, let's not forget, I am the John Wick of Minecraft, so this house is going to be protected. You might be thinking, how? How are you going to protect your house from mobs? Well, you're just going to have to wait and see. Ah, that's why the ground was on fire, because there's a lava pit for some reason. Ah, oh, that's a different color. Jungle wood planks. No, no, no. Everything needs to be consistent with the design. Oh, what? Oh, they're all jungle wood planks. No! Is there any regular trees around here? This is regular tree, isn't it? Well, we'll get more of it then, and then we'll continue with the house. Oh, now that's that's surely enough wood. I'm gonna have to figure out how to do the windows as well, but we'll do that, you know, after we've actually built the house. Right, the main room is done, sort of. I've got to make a door, so I think I can do that with just iron, can't I? Iron trap door. Ooh. Trap door. Now being the John Wick of Minecraft, that just gave me a ton of ideas. But for now, we'll make the iron door. Right, can I even... <laughs> I can't even open the door. You know what? Just give me a wood. Oh, I crafted fucking 18 of them. We're not even going to put the door there. We'll put it this side instead. Oh, I wasted all of my remaining wood on goddamn wood doors. There we go. That looks a lot better. It actually matches the color scheme of the house. And thankfully, we've only got two blocks left to patch up the hole. There we go. Oh, it's looking nice, isn't it? Well, it looks kind of crap, to be honest, from the outside. From the inside, it looks great. Don't get me wrong. From the inside, it's nice and cozy. From the outside, it looks like a box with a door. Those roofs over there, I'm going to have to do one like that. Unfortunately, I wasted all of my wood on 18 doors. Oh, so you need, you, you, you need staircases to build the... Okay, I'll just do this bit from here. Ah, that's what you do. You have to put a corner on it. What?! Why? What? There we go. That's the first layer of roof. Oh, for fuck's sake! Oh, I'm gonna have to go... Ugh. There we go. Now it's looking a lot better from the outside. There's only two things left. Windows and security. How do I make windows in this game? So you need to, so you need to put sand in the furnace to make the glass and then you need to you get the windows from the glass. So let's go look for some sand, I guess. Wait, let me take a picture of the coordinates of my house. Why does everything look a bit more brighter all of a sudden? Oh, never mind. We just, you know, casually ran into a desert. That's very useful. I'm just going to get a lot of it. I'm going to get like four stacks or so. All right, I've got four, almost five stacks. That should be enough. Let's go back to the house and put that in the furnace. Oh, this is going to take forever. Let's make a temporary furnace here. Put some more sand in that. In the meantime, let's get started on the uh, the protection. This is the idea for protection, guys. I'm going to dig a hole around my house, and I'm going to fill it with lava. Originally, it was going to be full of TNT with pressure plates on it. So if any enemy tries to walk near my house, it'll blow the TNT up. But then I realized that TNT around my whole house probably isn't a good idea. Now, I'm gonna just have to get the lava from a cave. Oh no, there's lava over there, isn't there? I ran into a pool of lava earlier. This village truly has everything. It's a sign. It's a sign that we're gonna find diamonds. We've uh, successfully dug the hole. Now what we need to do is go two blocks deeper. I think the cave is just one block deeper than that, so we got lucky with that. Oh no, we didn't. Whatever, we can just uh, pretend that didn't happen. The hole has been dug. Now, of course, we need to uh, make a little pathway for me. Here's the pathway to get to the house, but this block is going to have a trap door on it. So if any mobs do walk across the pathway, they're just going to fall into the uh, pit of lava. Iron trap door. 
So how exactly does this work? Oh, you fool. You're just gonna get yourself killed. How to use Minecraft trapdoor. All right, so wooden ones can be opened and closed by players. So let's go get some wood. Oh, oh, beautiful, wonderful. You know what? We don't even need this there. That just looks out of place. There we go. Two trap doors. I can walk across this, but for the most part, they're going to be both open. I can just jump across anyway. So let's go to sleep, and then we'll go make a bucket, and then we'll go get the lava. Here it is. Look at this. Isn't this just perfect? Let's take some of that. I think I should do it one block lower instead. To, like, so it's there. Yeah, I'll do it there instead. That looks a lot better. Oh, look at how annoying that is. Are you kidding me? The protection of the house is done. We've got a roof, so no uh, mobs can get on top. And we've got a lava pit surrounding the entire house. So the only way to get to the house is to walk over this or just jump over it. But mobs can't jump over this, so I'm just going to leave that like that the entire time. Now it's time for the windows. They, Yeah, they are done now. Oh my god, this is look this is looking this is looking amazing. The windows really add to the house, you know. It lets in the light and we can see the village. It's night time and I can see skeletons. I can see I think that's a zombie in gold armor. But who gives a shit because they're not going to be able to get anywhere close to me. Right, we've got windows on each side of the house. Shall I put some on this side as well? We'll see how it looks because we need a front view as well. Here's the finished product. This is my new house. I'm proud of it. I'm proud of this house. It came out very well. Looks great from the inside. Looks great from the outside especially now that it's got windows as well and we're protected as well by a pit of lava this is just an amazing design in the next video i don't know what i'm going to do in the next video i know i want to uh, go into the nether soon want to go raid a nether fortress because you guys said that there's some good loot want to go do that in one of the next few videos but before we do that i'm going to explore that cave so i'll do that in part 11 but yeah thank you for watching hope you all enjoyed definitely subscribe if you're new here and i'll see you all in my next video